Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're taking a look at the new Windows 10X emulator that Microsoft released today uh, after its developer day. So this is build 19.563 of Windows 10X, which is the new operating system for foldable and dual screen devices and all kinds of new stuff like that. And um, they haven't actually let anybody see it or use it yet. They've kind of shown it off at events. And that's about it. Um, we had some hands-on time with it at CES. I found out later that I really wasn't supposed to, and I'm pretty sure that I'm the only one outside of Microsoft or a partner that's been able to use Windows 10X, especially on a on a you know a bare metal device like that. So let's take a look at how this works. If we go down to the bottom, we just hover over that the pillow at the bottom. Uh, the taskbar comes up. So when we hover over the start button, it turns into that nice colorful icon down there. We click on it and we get the fly up. And so you can see this is a huge difference from, from Windows 10 as we know it today. There's no tiles. Um, we have actual icons now. They're nice, colorful icons. They've been redesigned. And those redesigned icons should come to Windows 10 proper eventually as well. We have Edge. This is Edge Dev, but it's not the Edge Dev you know. Um, it, it, I mean, it is Chromium, but we, we, we'll see a different splash screen when we pull it up. So see there's a different uh, icon there so this I, I had one drive up here before because i was noticing that you can't actually um there, there's no actual OneDrive integration with this operating system at this time so by the way i noticed i didn't actually have to uh minimize it to open the file explorer i could have just used the dual screen functionality right here as it is but this is kind of the Windows 10 Mobile. <laughs> this is the UWP File Explorer that's kind of been floating around for a long time. It was on Windows 10 Mobile, and um, it's kind of weird that it kind of pops up now, but it's always been floating around. Even after Windows 10 Mobile died, you've always been able to install on your device, and it's just always been there. But as you can see, there's no OneDrive integration with that. So we can we can change the, change the wallpaper here if we just right-click, and there's just the option to change your background, and... If I say new, it's going to launch a, a file dialog, which, again, go, goes just to this, um, goes to local storage, which is anything that's in the emulator. So we could pull up this thing that I downloaded from OneDrive, and we have this nice uh, Bliss wallpaper. Okay, so if we take a look, we can easily, if it'll let me drag it, yes. So you can see, it's, notice how... Um, the, there's that kind of acrylic background that shows where it would go if I just dropped it right now. And it is taking a second, but there it goes. Now if I drop it, now if I move it to the other side, now if I, if I leave it in the middle, it'll let me go full screen. And again, it's taking a little while because this is a Hyper-V emulator. It's, it's, it does require some resources. And did Edge just crash? Um, well, okay, there we go. So you can see now it spans across the screen. That is called spanning so I can't seem to get it to go back to one side of the screen but that's all right we're just we'll just close it um, there does seem to be some problems here and all right let's pull out, let's go back into now you can see we have a bunch of apps here you can open up the Microsoft Store and you can install whatever apps you want uh, this thing start things are starting to go wrong over here, uh, but notice um, there's no there's no way to resize the um, the app. The you just have a minimize and now now just a close button. So Windows windowed apps may or may not be a thing, right? So none of the demos I've seen have shown windowed apps. You can do it with Win32 apps over here now. These are not all the apps you have. You still have some system apps. So if I say Notepad, that's in there. Okay, so we could pull this up, and it's actually running in a container. And notice how it is actually a windowed app, which I can just drag around, and not too far won't let me drag. Oh, there it goes. And I could actually just leave it right in the middle of the screen. It's not optimized for Windows 10X at all. So um, things are really starting to get a little laggy over here. And then if I um, if I want to maximize it, I can. And I'm, I'm struggling just to control it at this point. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I can maximize it to that window. And, and this is just Notepad. Again, it's, it's working in a container, but it does interact with the file system. You can save 
files locally. You can open files locally. They demoed stuff like that today, and that's that's one of those things where it's like, okay, great, good job, guys. Um, you know, um, I, I did install some apps from from I did I installed one app. I installed one drive just to see if that would maybe add some integration, but it doesn't. Um, so um, th there's various ways to 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 go um, move things from screen to screen and whatever. Um, like if I open settings here, right? I, I love the new icons, by the way. I, I really hope they bring that to the rest of Windows 10 sooner rather than later. Um, and if I just go to the start menu over here, I can click that and it just brings itself over. And then, like I said, well, it doesn't look like I can drag settings, which is weird because it looks like some apps can be dragged, some cannot. It might just be the ones that are optimized for spanning across both screens that are that are able to be dragged. What I can tell you is that at this time, UWP apps cannot be uh, windowed. They're either full screen or they're minimized, and that's it. And I think that's what, what Microsoft is aiming for with... Um, with Windows 10X is that smaller devices means full screen, uh, but they really want feedback from they, they they want feedback from developers and what what you think that they should be able put, that you should be able to do um, with with your apps and um, you know I think windowed apps are definitely better because th this can be used in a laptop form factor. Remember, remember with the Surface Neo, there's an attachable keyboard. You you're going to want to use split screen at some point. It's part of a normal workflow. Okay, so if we open photos, by the way, I am signed into my Microsoft account um, through settings, which means it's easy to download apps. Uh, my, well, eventually my, my photos will start to populate. See, it's signing me in um, from OneDrive, and, um, you know, we'll close that before before a bunch of stuff comes up. But, um, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of these apps aren't exactly, see, I, I didn't go crazy. Um, see, oh, here's, here's one that I can... Uh, set to span the, the full screen and now you can see that it splits it splits the screen into two like but what developers are supposed to do is is make it so it's it doesn't look like like the app is just cut in half okay so get creative um it's probably going to take a while before this ever sinks through OneDrive because um Honestly, this is just, it's a very slow emulator. It's, it's a little buggy right now, which is totally understandable, you know. Oh, and this is going to let me put it right back to the side like that. There is light theme and dark theme, by the way, although it doesn't have all the options of regular windows that we're so familiar with. Like, if we go to colors here, there's just dark and light. There's no um, app setting and then system setting. It's just that. Oh, here comes uh, some population and I am in San Francisco right now for Galaxy Unpacked. There's a recent green screen because I actually went and uh, installed the Windows 10 Insider Preview during Galaxy Unpacked just so I can run this emulator, you know. So, um, yeah, like I said, the, the biggest thing about Windows 10X is that Win32 apps are running in containers and that th this is pretty much a new way of running Windows. Now, the under the hood stuff is really important because the, there's a big question about whether this stuff is going to come from um, whether this stuff is going to come from uh, to regular Windows or not, and you know that, like Windows 10 Pro is it ever going to look like this? And you know that under the hood stuff is important because other than that, it's just a shell change, and there's no reason that it couldn't come to um, there's no reason that it, that it couldn't come over to Windows 10 Pro because it's just, you know, changing the way the start menu looks and, and so on. So you can see this hasn't really been uh, too well optimized. Um, what, what Weather really should have done was was really push one thing to the side, one thing to the other side, and kind of organize it for, for a dual screen view. And that's not, not what it's doing here. It's, it's just kind of splitting the app in half. So... Like that, that'll happen. But like the reason I didn't download too much stuff from the store is just for that 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 very reason. Nothing from the store is going to be optimized yet. Okay. Um, calc I wonder if calculator is optimized. Yeah, it is full screen, unfortunately. Now, now I can't uh, can't drag it, so it's not going to let me go full screen with calculator. It would be interesting to see what they could do with a full screen calculator, though. Um, yeah, alarms and clock. Let's see. Let's check out maps. Maps should be an interesting one to. To, um, I bet you could do some cool stuff with full screen on maps if I could just there we go full screen now that's probably just going to split the thing in half but um, 
Yeah, it's also uh, not letting me check location, which might be because of my laptop, and my, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the, the Windows 10X emulator as it is right now. Um, you know, if you, um, thing is, if you want to use this, you do have to, um, you have to have Windows 10 Pro, and you have to be on, uh, like, build 19.5.5.0 or higher. So you have to be on the fast stream. And, again, it has to be Pro because you have to have Hyper-V enabled. So a Pro or better, so Enterprise Education. So if you're, if you're on Windows 10 Home, you just it, you, you won't be able to, to do it. You need Hyper-V. So that's Windows 10 X. There's not really much else to show. We can take a look and just see. Uh, I'm trying to see what is paint in here. No, there's no paint. I think they included Notepad just because uh, people were going to ask for Notepad and, and what's what's... I mean, other, this other stuff should, should be in there. And the whole idea, Microsoft wants it to just be Windows. That like They don't want you to think too much about, about what's changing. Uh, all your stuff is there. Because remember, this has got to be for businesses, too. It's going to be on a Surface product. Microsoft's a big productivity company. They work with businesses a lot. So businesses have to be able to use this. It means it has to support things like you know, uh, Win32 apps, uh, a bunch of business features like uh, uh, domains and and domain joins and, and Hyper-V and stuff like that. So who knows? Who knows? Um, again, it's not coming till holiday season, so this is an early look. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.